Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of all of my K-pop binders and photo card collections. Here I'm only showing my mini binders because I have five other bigger size binders and they just don't fit in the frame. But yeah, I collect a few different groups, BTS, TXT, 17, and then I have a binder with some other photo cards from other groups that I have kept that I don't necessarily collect thoroughly, but I've kept a few things from those groups. I usually, for these videos, talk as I film, and so the videos end up being really, really long and just, like, take up a lot of energy to film. So this time around, I decided to try something else and just flip through all my binders and just voice over it because, I mean, you can see the things and so you can know what they are without me having to over explain everything but yeah let me just get into it i think i'll start with my mini binders with some random things in there then i'll do 17 because that binder even though i have already downsized quite a bit from 17 it's still pretty thick with just like album for the girls only then txt that's also been really downsized and then uh for last but not least bts because i have the most for them so it would make sense but yeah let me just get into it all right so this is my a5 mini binder that has like random groups in it so as you can see the beginning is minji from new jeans only have like their first albums for the cards and i did have a page for the omg album to be in there but i never got around to it also have a few random 17 cards like bittersweet and spider with pentagon itsy and luna as well as nct and a random purple kiss bookmark that i kept because i love purple kiss i think you know we went our separate ways but i still love them a lot and then this binder is even more random and it's all the moo business cards so these are mine uh, i had two rounds of them the first ones were rectangular and the second ones had the rounded corners and then i have cards from my friends and i mean random extra cards that i have and the bts uh, sources from mcdonald's because it's funny and i want to keep them and then i have some confetti from 17 bts and dxt i think my bts ones are in my bts binders but yeah so this is the even more random binder but i like it and i think it looks cute and it has a range of things in it <laughs> but when it comes to my actual binders uh here is 17 so my 17 binder i have an almost complete album for the car collection for ming hao so as you can see here i love this page a lot i think it's very satisfying and it looks really good together and obviously the teenage cars are my prized possessions but i'm still missing one of these cards for you make my day so i've decided to kind of ignore it because right now i feel like back collecting all the cards is not uh, my priority so i've kind of given up not given up on it but it's put on the back burner this is my favorite page in the binder probably an ode uh, version because it looks so good the colors look so good and i don't know just cute all around and i think the only other era where i'm missing some cards is for attacker as well because originally i only collected one of each version for ming hao and mingyu because then I started collecting Mingyu from semicolon onwards. But then I found a full set of Jonghan's cards. So I was like, well, obviously I need to collect all versions for them. But now I'm just like, I don't know if I'm actually going to go through with it or not. <laughs> so it's in progress for now. But there's just been too many things coming out and happening, right? Then we get into the Manes that is Face the Sun and collecting two members for that. And then, yeah, I was going to collect one Jonghan of each version. And I'm still missing two. But once again, that's on the back burner because it's not a priority. But I think the full pages were like when his photo card is in the middle. It looks very, very, very good and very, very cute. The carrot version was very cute as well. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I actually got DK's set for the Woodverse versions because I pulled him and I was like, I don't want to get rid of this. I downsized my Sector 17 a little bit. But I feel it looks cute. Like with just nine photo cards right for each member and then these are all my pocket pages for fml 
I did buy some Proto Benefits, even though I'll probably downsize them like pretty quickly. But I was excited, so I wanted to get them. And yeah, so hopefully I don't have this amount of pages <laughs> for、uh, the comeback or next album that they do because I feel like it's a little bit silly to have that many pages for one comeback. Then these are just random cards that I have. I've downsized non-album things quite a bit for Seventeen as well, so now I feel like it looks like way more random than it used to. But then when we get into the Dicon section, which I don't think I'm gonna be downsizing that because the photo cards are very cute and they were very cheap, so I feel like it's not even worth like trying to resell them because I I, I like them as well, right? So I feel like I'll just be keeping these forever. Also, like the one with the little like stuffed animals, so adorable. And then I also have some unit cards, which I think look very cute. So yeah, my seventeen binder is still pretty thick, but I have downsized a lot.、Uh, I don't remember what state it was in in December, quite honestly, but I think I've reduced quite a few things since then. So yeah, let me now get into txt. Txt is the one that I have downsized the most. Because I used to collect Yeonjun and Hyunin Kai, and I only have Yeonjun album photo cards. So yeah, like it was a really thick binder, and now yeah, it's basically like halved it, right? And I used to have a lot of Yeonjun Proto benefits that I don't have anymore. So now I pretty much only have his album photo cards, a couple bobs here and there, just to complete the pages, as you can see. On the temptation page, and I think it looks good, and I think it looks cute. As I have a few like non-album cards that I feel attached to, so I haven't gotten rid of them yet, but I'll probably keep them for a little bit. And then once again, the D icon for the cards I'll probably keep just because they're cute, and also there's a lot, and I don't wanna、uh, fuss around re reselling them. And then QR codes from the albums because I'm sentimental back to XT like. <laughs> I feel like I've been with them for so long, like relative to their time as being a group, that I don't know.、Uh, it feels a bit different, you know. And then here is my BTS album. So this is BTS album photo cards. I said BTS album instead of a BTS binder, but you get me. So here we go in chronological order. I have every Namjoon album photo card in the world. Then a T seven set for you never walk alone because it's the cutest thing in the world, and then for the love yourself series, the love of the soul seven. I've also collected a little bit of Jin and Jimin, and yeah, the her page looks fantastic, and I can't wait for the vinyl, <laughs> for the other love yourself series albums at least to be released so I can complete the page right. And then I feel like Mod Seven looks really, really good as well, and really cute, and it makes my heart happy. And yeah, I'm still very much in my I miss BTS era, so I'm very much getting like everything that I can for them, and like actually back collecting for them. <laughs> But obviously, they're keeping us busy with all of the individual solo albums as well. Oh my gosh, the Be Lucky draws! I feel like that was such a time.、Uh, <laughs> It was very wild, but yeah. Oh, butter! Oh my gosh! One day I'll get a real butter full night for the god for Namjoon. I believe in it because those girls are so pretty. Proof! Oh my gosh! It's almost been a year. I can't. I can't wrap my mind around it. Like actually insane. And then we get into the solo albums. So his Herbie. I also have his vinyl on the way. So I'll be adding that the astronaut. Oh my gosh, I miss two socks so bad. Oh my gosh, and like I'll be posting on Weverse once again. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to show you like the holo on the Jin cards. I'm like struggle town, but anyways, oh you can really see it on Namjoon's card. But yeah, Namjoon's pages are gonna be my favorite. Like, it's just excellent, you know. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. To put the vinyl PC because it's not in black and white selfie like I thought it would be, so I don't know how I'm gonna set it up now. But here is Jimin's page as well. Oh yeah, two pages because a generous king with his photo cards. You know, you know, you know. He tried to escape, and then Yoongi. I also have a couple more pops for him on the way, so I have a full nine pocket page. Then Japanese album PCs, which I don't feel like that has changed a lot. I still need to get the I need you venue PC, and I think I'll pretty much be done, right? 
and except for the Karananka PC, but you know, you know, you know, that's more complicated. And then these are bigger inclusions, which also have not changed in like a year because the only things I've added to this are the proof postcards. So yeah, I mean, it looks real good though. And yeah, even the collector's edition as well. The backs are very cute, but I did not flip through to that. But anyway, so that binder is honestly getting too full. I need to like split things up a little bit over with all the solo album stuff, which I technically already have a separate mini binder for that, but only for bigger inclusions or other random inclusions like the astronaut stickers. I put all of that in a mini binder, as you can see here. I haven't put away Yungi's bigger inclusions yet, just because I've been lazy about it, but it'll be in there pretty soon. Festa is also right around the corner, which is insane to me. And I've seen like the event that I posted up about, like in the city of Seoul. I don't know why I said in the city of Seoul like that, but yeah, I'm very excited. Obviously, it's going to have like online and in person stuff, and that's very cute. But yeah, so here is my non-album things. Here's my memories page, which I'm so proud of and I think looks so cute. And I don't know if they'll do memories this year or not. I don't know. I feel like it will feel like a bit weird if they do. But also I bet they have like so much content from all these solo preparations and everything. So I guess we will see, right? But yeah, here are concert things, master and find needs, DVD PCs and Blu-ray PCs which look very cute and um, then photo book stuff yeah i think that i mean i do feel like it's actually changed a lot in the last six months just because i've back collected quite a few things in there as well right this is my japanese page which i'm tempted to put my japanese album photographs in this binder as well just because my other binder with album photographs is getting so full Here's some like random ad stuff that they've done. And then obviously a thousand pages of the icon of photographs because I've collected for Namjoon and for Jin for them. But they're so cute and I'm just like, I don't know, especially that first set where they had like different years and everything. Like that was a bit emotional as well. I won't lie. But yeah uh, and that this is this year's the icon stuff which was the bane of my existence right existence trying to spell bts with that but uh, i mean it was worth it you know but this is not the only non-album photocard binder that i have because i also have a binder for mini photocards which honestly i do think this is the binder in my collection that has changed the least this year but i mean there's still a few changes i got like a few extra things from like the artist merch for the cards for example and i feel like the beginning the front page looks a bit messy but i don't know what else to do about that and then i mean these have not changed it's still the same fan meets and same master for the cards that i've had for the last three years now oh my gosh <laughs> I can't believe I'm going on three years of collecting. I feel like, I don't know, it's just been a wild time all around for sure. I feel like the one concert feels like so bittersweet, right? Because it was like, well, here yeah, we're gonna do an online thing, I guess, because we can't go on tour. And I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's been a hard time, right? But yeah, these are cute. I really like them. And then I think after that, I have a lot of permission to dance on stage stuff, which makes sense. But yeah, I don't know really what else to say about this binder just because <laughs> it's messy. But you know what? These are cute. These are very, very cute. The Dama drink match is always like popping off, right? But yeah, I feel like this binder, this is probably how it's going to stay for the next couple of years, probably. I don't know but all of these have memories attached to them so i don't think i'll be getting rid of any of it you know and then my last binder is this bts mini binder where i have bigger inclusions that are not related to albums 
and I kind of like just arbitrary because I don't collect bigger inclusions and it's just things I thought were cute things that I maybe got in the beginning of collecting that when I thought I was going to collect bigger inclusions but I don't want to get rid of because I do think it's very pretty right and especially this little like wings polaroid I think it's adorable I honestly feel like it's almost wasted in this binder and I kind of want to maybe put it up somewhere but I don't know where I don't have space for this I don't have a way to protect it either so I don't really know <laughs> but yeah this is just the most random binder to ever exist honestly because I have everything and everyone in it but I do kind of want to like I don't know make it make sense a little bit more maybe or like combine it with the solo album binder or something I don't know but yeah, this was my album flip through, binder flip through. I don't know why I keep saying album. I'm not releasing any album, but <laughs> maybe we'll have a BTS solo album announcement very soon. Maybe that's why I keep slipping up. But I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was much shorter than all of my other binder flip throughs and how binder flip throughs usually are. But yeah, I didn't have the energy to do otherwise. So I hope you enjoyed and i hope that you're having fun with your collections and having just a good time in general but yes thank you so much for watching my next video is probably going to be an unboxing and photo card haul and after that i need to do another binder sort but for 17 this time but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye